Basically, I'm saying I screwed a bunch of shit up and now I need everybody to believe that I've figured out the right way and the right way is to reinvest the money in fixing problems instead of growing the business. So we opened the first restaurant in 2010 and it was immediately successful. I mean, we had a line out the door, investors were coming in and, and enticing us to open more shops and giving us money. And we opened a second restaurant one year later and actually a third restaurant that same year. And there was something that wasn't quite perfect about the second and the third store, but they were happening. And before they even opened, we had a, a fourth and a fifth lease that we had signed and we were getting ready to open those up. Around the time that we opened our fourth store, we really recognized that the second and the third store and then even the first store were starting to, you know, they were failing to kind of like maintain their success. But we were pushing through it and saying, well, we'll figure it out or it will solve itself. It never solves itself. <laughs> Having multiple locations of the same restaurant is a completely different game, it has a completely different strategy. And so we opened the first three restaurants, four restaurants, five restaurants, as if it were one restaurant. We were running from restaurant to restaurant, hiring everybody, doing everything ourselves. But at five restaurants, you can't get to every single restaurant in time to catch the mistake and fix the problem and train the person. You know, it was just slowly but surely moving faster than we could keep up with. And so the entire business started to unravel. What that meant was we needed to stop expanding and concentrate on building a system to run hopefully five through however many restaurants we would eventually want to open. And stopping was hard because we built everybody up to believe in this idea that we're going to expand and we're going to get rich and our employees are going to grow and you're really admitting that you're not ready to grow which is admitting a fault which from an ego perspective is really tough to kind of like confront especially when you have pressure huge financial pressure to grow because your investors have given you money they've invested in growth and the idea that the business will be worth more but um, there's a responsibility that we have to the people that work in our business to not throw it all away Right? I mean, yeah, the investors would get richer if we opened faster, but I'd rather not lose all of their money. And our employees would have more opportunity if we grew faster, but I'd rather that they at least had a job and food on their table. It's been two full years from the, from the time that we identified we need to slow down and build a new system to run the restaurants. And we're, we're finally in a place where we have really built the infrastructure, the systems and the processes. And we're watching the success in, of that turnaround happen in front of us and the numbers and the customer satisfaction and the employees' happiness and my, you know, like I'm actually sleeping through the night and feeling somewhat positive. With that having been accomplished, we're ready to grow. And you know, we feel the confidence to open another restaurant and build something special. <laughs>